close to the Arctic Circle, our next adventures were waiting for us. Join our ride to Santa Claus Village in Finland, to the sunniest city of Sweden, to an old church town, to an amazing waterfall and to a secret military road. Before departing from Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland, I had to do some very important shopping. I bought a lot of chocolates. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Before we are leaving to Sweden, we are going to the Santa Claus village because Rovaniemi is the official home of Santa Claus and we will visit him now. Um, I'm wearing my best red dress for this encounter because I thought that's the Santa Claus color. And we were on our way to visit Santa Claus. Here we are, this is the so-called Arctic Circle Center and I'm about to meet Santa Claus. Um, I guess it probably looks a bit more scenic in winter when it's covered with snow. I don't know, now it looks a bit like an autobahn gas station, but still Santa Claus. And then I finally visited Santa Claus in his Christmas house and talked about motorcycles with him. What is the name of your motor? Of the motorrad? It's a BMW 1200GS. Okay. You drive motorcycle too? No, I do Only reindeer. I use my reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Due to COVID, most places of the Santa Claus village, like the post office, were closed. But I got a chance to cross the Arctic Circle the second time. And to feed a reindeer. Unfortunately, the Santa Claus village is much less a Christmas wonderland than a lot of shops selling things. We just got in another rain shower, but we're going to Sweden now. So unfortunately, our very nice day in Finland is over already and we're heading to the next country. Sweden! Hello! There it is! That was an unspectacular border crossing. So our plan was to hit some more small roads um, to the city Lulio that we are driving to. But now we are looking for some lunch place and therefore have to go back to the main road. That's a nice hello in Sweden, a lot of rain. You see here this dark grey sky, that's exactly the direction that we're going. When entering the city Luleå, all the rain was forgotten and we were greeted with sunshine. Luleå is indeed the sunniest city on the Swedish mainland. Lulio has been in the news since 2013 because it's the home of Facebook's first data center outside the US. 
but it's even more famous for its archipelago of 1,312 islands. Due to the Gulf of Botnia, the sea freezes during several months during winter, so you can even drive with a car to the islands on the meter-thick ice. In the end of the day, we had an amazing dinner at CG, one of Lulio's best restaurants. And I was finally able to taste some real ripe cloudberries. Our route planning gave us a little headache this night. We wanted to hit some smaller roads the next day, but there was not a big choice. Uh, there is not, not, see, almost, they're right, there's no roads going like this. Yeah. A bright blue morning in Sweden. Let's ride. Hello and good morning everyone. We are going to a very special place now. It's close to Luleå and called Gammelstad Kyrkstad, which in English means Old Church Town. We are at a place now called Gammelstad Kirkstad and it's um, 400 of these houses that you can see behind me and um, people still live here, it's uh, actually UNESCO World Heritage and it's pretty cute and um, you can just ride through. At Gammelstad Kirkstad you will find a medieval stone church located next to hundreds of small red church cottages. This is the place where Lulio once was founded and grew from a small church and trading place to a real city. In the 17th century, Lulio was relocated because of the land rising. So this place got known as Gammelstad, which means old town, a name that still lives on today. Yes, my travel partner was still riding with a leaking motorcycle. None of the workshops we came by could organize the part that would have been needed to stop the leaking oil. Our goal for our first day of riding in Sweden? Find the nicest roads. So these roads are still quite big and not exactly the small roads that we are looking for but they are pretty nice to ride and we have a special destination, a waterfall called Storfors. Now we made a little trip to Storforden waterfall and um, it's actually quite a few steps that it's running down. It's super loud and um, it's a pretty nice area that we're driving through at the moment. Storforsen is a waterfall on the Peter River. Its rapids are some of the most voluminous in Europe. The rapids stretch over a distance of 5 kilometers in which it drops 82 meters, 60 of which are a single waterfall. After Storforsen, we finally found the small roads that we were looking for and we rode deeper into the Swedish forest. So this is quite interesting. We are hitting a gravel road now and this road leads by a military base. So filming is forbidden pretty much from now on. So stay tuned. <laughs> So now we already crossed by the base and we were really not allowed to um, film or take any videos. There were huge signs and I had to stop right next to the base because I had to look um, for the right, right way in my navigation system. And immediately there was like a security car coming to us that told us to go away, to put our phones in our pockets and to get going. 
After the military area, we were finally able to stop and to enjoy what the Swedish forest provided. And here is our lunch. Taking me high, taking me down. for continuing the journey and crossing into Sweden with me. The next episode will take us to Arje Plug and to some of the finest off-road detours in the whole area. Stay tuned for some gravel fun and leave a comment and a thumbs up if you like this episode. <laughs>